Right, in this video we're going to have to take a function and show that it can be used as a probability density function. So, the time t, we're use a practical example, so the time t minutes spent by a pupil arriving to their mathematics class after the bell has rung is modelled by this function. f of t is e to the minus t, t greater than zero, and then it would be zero otherwise. Show that f of t represents a probability density function. B. Find the probability that a pupil will arrive late to class one minute after the bell has rung. And C. The students who arrive three minutes after the bell receive a detention. If there are 30 students in the class, how many can expect to receive a detention? Show clearly all working. OK, so the first thing we've got to do, we've got to show that f of t is a probability density function. If that is sure. So, then what we've got to show, if we integrate the function with respect to its variable t, then that has to be equal to 1 for all values of t. OK, so this is defined from t greater than 0, so we're going to have to do from 0 up until infinity. So we have to integrate from 0 to infinity of e to the minus t dt. Now, you're only limited now by your ability to be able to integrate. Now, if you... Know the differential of e to the minus t is minus e to the minus t, then you'll know that the integral will be itself e to the minus t, and you have to put a minus sign in front. If you differentiate that, you get minus 1 times minus 1 e, and you always keep the power of the same minus t. So this gets back to itself. And the limits now go from 0 to infinity. Now, uh, minus e o to the minus t is minus 1 over e to the t and it might be easy to look at it like this with this type of function. So next you'd put the limits in to so get minus 1 over e to the infinity minus minus 1 over e to the 0. Now e to the infinity is a very very large number. Think what will 1 over a very large number be? Well, 1 over a very, very, very large number is very, very close to 0. So we actually say when it, this, this when 1 over e to t will approach 0 as t gets very, very large, infinity. So this will become 0. So just writing that out again. So this first bit here will be 0. Minus minus is a plus, and then e to the 0 we get from a to 0 is 1, so we get 1 over 1, 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So, if that's true, f of t is a probability density function. Now we can look at the graph of this using uh, GeoGebra, I've already drawn it, and I'll attach the GeoGebra link to this video. So here we have the function this is the function f of x is e to the minus t for e greater than 0. So if we integrate from 0 up to infinity, now I can put infinity in, so we'll put 1,000 in, you can see that the answer is 1. And the area underneath, a continuous random variable, represents a probability. OK, then you can find the area by integrating between two different limits. So all this area here, if the area is equal to 1, then the function can act as a probability density function. Like I say, I'll put the GeoGebra applet in with this video. Find the probability that a student pupil will arrive to class one minute after the bell has rung. So the probability of t green greater than 1, from uh, 1 to infinity e to the minus t dt, so if we integrate again we're going to get minus e to the minus t from 1 to infinity, so we're going to get minus 1 over e to the t from 1 to infinity, substituting in minus 1 over e to infinity we know to be 0, minus 1 over 1 over e, it's going to give 0 plus 1 over e, which is 1 over e, and if we're not 1 over e on our calculator, we get 0 0.36787, which is 0 0.36823.
syllabical figures. Now, if we do that using our GeoGebra plot, that means we move A to be 1. Okay, so this area here represents that property. We see we get the same answer using the technology. technology. We have to take sort of a large number for infinity. Okay. Students who arrive three minutes after the bell receive a detention. If there are 30 students in the class, how many can expect to receive a detention shown clearly all working out? Well, a similar idea. Students receive a detention if t is greater than 3. So the probability that t is greater than 3 will be the integral from 3 to infinity e to the minus t dt. Again, integrating minus e to the minus t is the integral. Limits of 3 and infinity. Same as before, write it like this. Put in minus 1 over e to the infinity, which will be 0. Minus brackets, minus 1 over e to the 3. This is 0 plus 1 over e to the 3. We want the, so the, answer, the exact answer is 1 over e to the 3. We just need to know the number of students, so the expected number of students will, who receive a detention is going to be 1 over e to the 3 times 30, which is approximately 1.4936. So therefore we're going to say approximately one student will receive a detention under this model. And again, if we go to the GeoGebra plot and then set this one now to be 3, Okay, we can see we get a very low probability, 0, 0 0.05, and if we multiply that by, if we multiply that by uh, 30, we'll probably get uh, approximately one student again. But that's the probability of the area there. Okay. Okay. So this has been a video to show you the introduction of um, continuous random variables. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.